Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on parallel and perpendicular lines. So there's just a couple of skills in this video and we'll go over some example questions as well. Uh, the first one is parallel lines. So when you have the equation of a straight line, so that's y equals mx plus c, uh, the lines will be parallel if the gradient, so that's m, if that is the same. So here we have the lines y equals 3x plus 3 in blue, we have the line y equals 3x and y equals 3x minus 5 in green. Uh, and as you can see, they all have the same gradient of 3. So that means for every one square, the line goes across, it goes 3 upwards. Uh, and as you can see, that means that the lines are parallel. So really, that's all you need to know. If the lines are parallel, then they'll have the same gradient. So let's have a look at some example questions now. The first one, uh, is the line y equals 3x minus 4 parallel to the line 3y minus 9x equals 21? Uh, well, what's the condition for parallel lines? Well, if the lines are parallel, then they have the same gradient. Um, so do these lines have the same gradient? Uh, well, they're not in the same form, first of all. So this one's in the form y equals mx plus c, which is nice. Uh, but the one on the right, we don't have in the same form. So let's rearrange it, first of all. So we have 3y minus 9x equals 21. And uh, now we want y to be the subject. Uh, so let's add the 9x to both sides. So we get 9x plus 21 equals 3y, and then we just divide both sides by 3, so uh, y equals 3x plus 7. Uh, now, as you can see, uh, this has a gradient of 3, and the other line given in the question also has a gradient of 3, so yes, the lines are parallel. If you'd like to get some practice with some parallel and perpendicular line exam style questions, then you can take our online exam. Now, this is available through our revision platform and you'll find loads of different questions, a variety of question types, and you get instant feedback on each and every one. So this is useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you need to improve on. Uh, if you are interested, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight there.